to get the guys a drink on the way back because these guys have not had a drink since the start of the season. Yeah, I'll need to make sure I'm fit for that trip so I can get up there and uh, <laughs> enjoy that. Um, but no, that's a great gesture from, from a fan. And, you know. Isn't it that great? Yeah. So we'll just give you the 150 quid, Simon, you'll make sure that the other guys get a drink out of that. I'll make sure it filters down, no problem. <laughs> um, yeah, we were talking before the game about how Queen's Park line up to defend corners. Is that, does, does that a lot of thought go into how you counter a team like Edinburgh that are, have that strength from the set piece? Yeah, I seen there there was maybe a couple of guys in the near post. Um, just what a long bridge! Really long bridge for a strike from distance there. It seemed to go through Calamanto in the, the oh, Edinburgh City goal. Here's your goal of the season. Well, that's number 88. Yeah, it's a great strike oh. there from, from Louis Boy. Uh, and he's doing some mad celebration there, which is good to see. I don't know what that is. Um, I think he doesn't practice the celebrations I've there. Never, I've never seen that one before, but it is good to see. Yeah, no, great to see. Louis Longridge's fourth goal for the Spiders this season. I was speaking of... Yeah, great finish. Up the yards there. Oh, what a goal. I would say after the restart, our, our energy levels and the way the guys are getting around the pitch is... is I would what I'd say is we've, over, we've overran teams oh. in, in, since we came back, which... Balatoni with a header over the bar. Yeah, it must have been difficult to... Which can only be good for them because they're a bit neither. Go on, Ono in here, up against Balatoni. Go on. Oh. Tries to place it. Blocked by Balatoni in the end. Murray would have had that in the back of the net, right? <laughs> I was fancying Luca there, uh, just unfortunate. Good block from the defender in the end. Yeah. So what do you make of Luca Connell? Do you think he's got a, a very bright future in the game? Yeah, I mean, he's he's an incredible talent. Um, I think he's 19, 19 year old and, I mean, you only need to look at some of the touches that he does on the pitch. He's, yeah, I mean, two good left backs are, have been phenomenal this season and Brody's have to, had to wait for that opportunity for him to come oh, in. He's bouncing about there, it's hooked out there from under the crossbar. Well, he just managed to keep it off the, keep it out the goal first. Yeah. Queen's with quite a deep line on the just behind the six yard line. Good Willie. Well, yeah, punches it well away. Dangerous ball, wasn't it? Back out with De Vita. Good does match. well against him. To see him, uh, to see him just doing so well down in the Premier League with all the best players in the world is a great thing, really. Crane past the full back there into the penalty area. Oh, Should have done better than that. Should have looked legend. But she's looking, so uh, a picture of Davy Anderson on our bedside cabinet. Gives her a wee kiss every night, but she's got another bedside cabinet. That's Bob oh, McHugh in there, oh. saved by Anto. Sorry, Good Louis Longridge. We should have scored for that one. You see it again now. Oh, that's oh. on a plate for you. Oh. Yeah, defensive error, on a plate error at the you. back from oh, Edinburgh. Dear. Queen's almost capitalising on it. Should have been in there. Brown with the ball forward for De Vita. He strikes it low. Anyway, I was going to say, Alison's looking for another picture. Uh, I mean, if we're getting the advantage and you know the referee hangs on a bit and you go up, you go up the pitch and you get an opportunity, it's definitely a, a good thing. Um, well, and towards Benham, well, cushions it infield. To the box, Morrison. Oh, I can target it clear. So this ball though, and Connell picks it up. Looks to set from Q3 on the right here. Perfect. Perfect ball. Good. Brilliant play. Brilliant. I'm sitting to the post. It's a handful there to collect it. You know, it's, it's good to, to have all that data. And, you know, we, we, we were there day in, in training. And you can see if the, you're Fancy actually working. Queens with Connell. Unleashes a left foot shot into the back of the net. Look at Connell doubles the Spiders lead. Oh, great shot. Across the front of the goal. Great finish there. Terrific finish, wasn't it? Yeah, great strike by Luca Connell. One of a left foot we were talking about One earlier. Eye. Yeah, he's got some technique in that, in that left foot, and I mean, he's been working hard tonight, and it's great to see him get that goal. He's, there's that next celebration, I don't know what that is. <laughs> the flying Scorpion, or, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Lebo's at it as well, they're all at it. <laughs> you, you'll need to get that fine tuned for when the match finishes for the, the title lifting yeah. celebrations. Definitely. <laughs> it sort of came out of nothing, that goal, really. It's run with the ball and all of it's just in the back of the net. Great. Back 
Robson again. Just to chip it in towards Bainham. Put down by McIntyre. Oh, Maxie. Oh. Nice technique there by Gillies. The shot flies wide to the post. Laird winning his header. Thanks for Jordan. Back to Laird. Good pressure by Queens and it comes to Longridge on the right. Plays it infield for Carroll. Takes a touch. Shapes the shoot but plays in Gillespie. Cuts it back. That's a lovely move. Edmund will get it cleared. Looks like Callum Crane's returned to the field of play. There is a Edinburgh substitute stripped and ready to come on if required. Comes to goal. Can he play in Tommy Robson a chance here for the Englishman? Great run. Oh, fizzes it right across the face of the goal. And then you've got the Buffalo Bill. Yes. I think he's got a, he's got a couple of nicknames, doesn't he? Or or a big mate. Yeah, um, I think it's the man on the ball, Doyle, that wants to call him Wallace. I believe. Oh, Wallace, yeah, big Wallace. So there's a few kicking around. Yeah, there's a wee message from Canucks abroad, if that's how you pronounce it, the Canadians. It's obviously uh, Big Will Bain was in Canada at one point. Nice move by Edinburgh, it's worked its way out oh. to Brown, just a bit too much on the ball from Campbell into the area. It's dangerous. Back with Thompson now. Plays it in for handling, substitute. Muir's quickly off his line though together. Katie to Simon, thank you for that winning goal at Edinburgh. Me and my daft uncle Martin were jumping around like maddies. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the brandy and cigars out. <laughs> nah, no problem. Hopefully we could, uh, as I say, be all get the fans back and make good memories like that. And I think the term, the, the phrase is limbs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would imagine that would be the would be the case, but that's what football does. Golk swings it in, tackled by Kilday, comes to chuck it. Go on. Ross McLean is. Here comes to Lee Kilday again. He's trying to scrap. <laughs> Get another corner kick here. Some of the cracking players they have. Yeah, nice play by Liam Brown, spreading it for Callum Crane. He seems to have recovered from his earlier injury. Well, and you're under pressure from C, but holds on to the ball well. They've just lost its momentum. Maybe the substitution's just taken the pace takes out of the game. It takes a wee bit of this thing out of the game sometimes. And there we go. And bang on the 90, referee Lloyd Wilson closes his final whistle and it's finished Queen's Park 2, Edinburgh City.